if they want to do anything, what is the page they will ask uh, login page? OK, if they want to secure with some things, they want to log in page. Correct, right? So here, why they want to log in? Uh, why they want to take your information? Suppose uh, like you want to transfer some amount to your friend. How will you know that bank will know that you are transferring? Then they need to know who you are transferring. They need to know who are you, right? Then only they can log into your account and they can you can transfer some amount, right? So we need to submit our data to the server, like whoever the backend, correct, right? Then they can do some particular actions, okay? For this reason, whenever we want to submit our data, our user's data, then we have to go for a concept called forms. Suppose you no need to send any data to the backend, then you no need to use this uh, form at all. Okay, but uh, for any application, you go to any application, take the net banking without any form. Is there any bank? Uh, no, correct, right? Uh, now it is the only one thing is now uh, face login, something a uh, face login. Or the, this is the only possibility. Okay, thing like this. But even to register that device, first you need to enter some form. Correct, right? Uh, that is okay. Something like that is the reason forms are very, very important. Okay. Even in the day to day or in the projects also, we will be writing the forms very much. So that is the reason we will discuss today and tomorrow fully about the forms. Okay. Okay. And before learning the forms, uh, I just want to give you some introduction about the protocols. Okay. So what is this protocol? I will I'll tell you what is the protocol. Okay, simple man. So something now we are talking in English, right? So whatever I'm speaking, you are able to get it right because you we both understand the same language. Okay, suppose I will speak in the uh, Malayalam something. Vellam Taramo. Okay, so that means give some water. Okay, so like if whenever I'm speaking some other language, are you able to get it or not? No, okay. There should be some mutual understanding, right? Okay. There will be like some set of rules. Okay. In this language means these are the words only we should use it. Okay. So the protocol is nothing but a set of rules. Okay. Why do you want to learn about this protocol? We are not going to learn anything about the protocol simply just for this general understanding only. So the protocol is nothing but a set of rules. Okay. How we should send the data, how we should receive the data. So that uh, set of rules we'll call it as a protocol. Okay. So in the in the computer, like uh, if you take the system, there are so many protocols there. there. Okay, so for example, TCP, whenever you have studied the engineering or MCA, you'll get this one, but that is fine. This is not required. No need to uh, remember all these things just for your understanding. Only. Okay, so there is a uh, TCP protocol, IP protocol, uh, UDP protocol, some protocols are there. Okay, so whenever you want to send some data to the network level, they will use the TCP or some network guys, they will be having a more idea than me. Okay, and here in this like we have a this many protocols out of these protocols. Whenever we are going to develop it, we are going to work with only these two protocols. Ma. Hi hypertext transfer protocol and we will work with the hypertext uh, protocol secured one HTTPS only. So which are the protocols we are going to work out uh, HTTP and uh, HTTPS only. We will not work with the other protocols. Okay, and SMTP means uh, suppose whenever you want to do send any mail, I want to send any mail from Gmail, any mail, but they will use the protocol is called SMTP. Okay, for mails they will use a SMTP. Suppose I want to send one file to my friend somewhere is there in the other file, other location. So whenever you are sharing some files, you are going to use the file transfer protocol. Okay, but since we are going to learn as a developers, as a front end developers, we are going to use the, these two protocols only hypertext transfer protocol and the HTTP. Yes, then we will learn what is this HTTP and the HTTPS. Okay, so let us go to browser here. Suppose uh, I will go here and I will type the google.com. Okay, so if you understand the browser, see well, what is the URL it is sending it. Uh, HTTP, yes, okay, and uh, it is sending some URL, right? HTTPS. The only difference between HTTP and HTTPS is very simple, okay? So both are a protocol to send data from the client to server, okay? So I'll give just one simple. So what is the what will happen? Suppose I am I am here. I, I am using my laptop, okay? Whenever I am typing Google.com, I am getting one page, right? Who is giving that page? My laptop cannot give anything. Okay, it need to connect to internet and internet it will go to one particular machine and that machine will return the response. Okay, that machine will call it as a server. Okay, this machine will call it as a server. So this machine what will call it as a, this machine will call it as a client. 
okay this right side machine will call it as a server okay whenever we are sending a request to the server okay and whenever i'm typing in the google google.com that means we are sending one request to the server so now what will happen internally is it will send one request to the server something like this now this server will understand okay what this guy want and it will give a response with the some data suppose you are searching something it will give a search result to you okay something like this so now who is requesting client who is responding a server okay in this part as as of a uh, front end developer we no need to think anything about the server okay we only need to consider about here only like uh, how we should send a request to the server how we should uh, get the response from server this how this code how we are uh, receiving the data everything they will taken care by the back end people okay so whenever you are going to learn back end that time we can focus here but for now we will we'll focus only in the left side part okay now when uh, the next thing is now how i am sending my data HTTP yes right and how many protocols there there are two protocols HTTP and HTTP yes so now I will give you a simple example suppose uh, what I will do uh, I'll go here and here I'm going to type my username and password okay suppose think like this is not a HTTP yes ma think like this is only HTTP page not the HTTPS page okay so whenever you are entering data suppose I'm entering the admin and password also admin and click on login so what will happen internally is if you are using plain http protocol so what will happen is if you are entering admin admin suppose i am entering admin and password also admin okay so this data whenever it's sending to the server it will send the same data to the back end also okay it will send the same data to the back end okay sometimes what will happen is if there are you know hacking techniques right what they will do they will put a uh, some uh, like a monitor here okay monitor means not this monitor they will put some network rules uh, like whenever you send any request uh, i want to see what they're sending this one do like there is some hacking tools are there they can monitor each and every uh, request what you are sending it okay yeah and what if you are sending the admin admin uh, the website is google.com username and password is admin admin what they can do after you log out they can log in again with the same admin admin right and they can do something else so there is a problem or not so now tell me http is secure or not secure not secure okay and then we'll go for a next case what is the next case https so in the http is also it will go through the same right then how it is secure okay whenever you are using https what they will do they will have a secured connection with the back end server okay and the another thing is whenever you are sending your data here currently we are sending admin admin right in the https it will not send like this they will decrypt like they will encrypt this data to the some other format okay i have typed admin admin only but whenever i am sending it to my server it will be like a number something hash something like this okay and this is called some algorithms we no need to remember this algorithm there are so many algorithms are there okay aas pks so many algorithms are there we no need to be scientists like there is some algorithm are there and some guys are responsible we are not responsible okay so this data will be converting like this and suppose even the in the middle of the uh, this is like a middleware attack now hacker same time uh, hacker identifies this one they cannot decrypt the data decrypt the data means from this they cannot convert into original format okay they cannot convert it they can do it it will take years we can we don't know 50 years 100 years how many it can do something okay there is a program it will try to convert it convert it convert it it will take so many years not it they cannot break it that much easily okay now that is the reason whenever you are sending any whenever you are logging into any website please make sure that you are using the https okay sometime you, you might seen right some scams uh, online and net banking or something so whenever you are logging in make sure that your your first website is a http yes now you understood what is the reason right so this is the difference between the http and uh, https okay but both will send data to the network only same server only one will send in the secure format another will send in the normal format okay that is the one so now you would understand what is this http right http is just a protocol which will some data send data to the back end server okay now the next thing is how it will send data to the back end server okay so uh, this uh, protocol is nothing but a set of rules only okay correct right so here we have mainly five like there are some five methods are there instead of five ways i can say there is in http we have a five methods 
you can think like http or http both are same don't think in http only we have five methods and https no both both will have a same methods only so mainly we have a this five methods still we have some more methods now okay here trace is there and some more is there we will not uh, like we no need to think about those things five first we will consider about only get and post okay so let us go for so the methods are get post put to delete to patch okay we'll go one by one okay so first i will go to here suppose here i am typing like this ma okay i want to see trinity's technologies course okay trinity's technologies something i am searching in the google ma okay something simple okay so whenever i am searching here i am just entering it right uh, how my data is going ma if you see here uh, https bing.com search colon q after this what is the value i am entering it uh, it is sending right away whatever the data i am searching it it is sending in the url correct right it is sending data in the url so this method we will call it as a get method okay this method will call it as a get method so whenever you are entering your data in the url now tell me what is that request type get request okay and whenever you are seeing the get request is it secure or not secure suppose i want to send my username and password so what i will do i will remove here user is equal to admin and password is equal to admin this is a secure or not secure not secure anybody who is behind you everybody can watch their uh, username and password so that is the reason get is a not secured one okay get is not a secured one and third limitation is whenever you are sending any data to the get request we can send only 2048 characters like suppose uh, i am uh, like uh, i will type like this i will type keep on typing it will not send all the data to the back end server it can send only how much data 2048 characters sir what will happen if i am sending 10000 characters uh, only first 2000 characters only will send it uh, the remaining characters will not go at all okay there is a problem that is the reason whenever you want to send more data then which which uh, we should go for the second one not for the get api okay so let us go for the second api so what is the second api post api okay post api so post api means you will send data through the body okay now we are seeing the url right so we will send our data in the body okay body means uh, you will not see in the directly suppose here it is there ma. i'll type login uh, is there any username and password in the showing here no but my username and password are sent to the server how those are sent uh, those are sent by the post request now tell me post is a secure or not secure post is a secure because we will not see in the directly and another advantage is there is no limitation you can send how much data you want to it okay now tell me what is the differences between the get and post this is the most important question what is the difference between the get and post get is a not secured one post is a secured one using get we can send only limited data post we can send unlimited data okay and then interview they may ask then when i should use a get when i should go for a post simple whenever you are searching some information it is not no need to be secure suppose i am searching some xyz that is not no need to be secure then you can go for a get request suppose you want to send some secure data otps or usernames or your credit card details or any financial data then all you send your data inside the post request okay something like this okay now there is another request called put we have seen uh, get and post right then how we will see put ma this three i will show a demo in the react course okay but these two i will show you in the html itself today itself okay so now what about put and delete suppose uh, uh post means uh, whenever i'm logging in or whenever i'm registering i will use a post suppose i already registered i want to change my username and password okay uh, not username i want to change about only my password okay so now you want to change like you have username password your mobile number everything is there but you want to update only two or three fields correct right so whenever you want to update then we can go for a put method okay when when we have to use for put method whenever i want to update it then we can go for a put method whenever i want to create it then i can go for a post method okay yeah and delete method suppose i don't want this registration i want to close my account now tell me which i can use it uh, delete delete my account so we will use a delete and the last patch is there patch is nothing but uh, suppose i want to update only i have my uh, like i have a five fields name like my name is there uh, password is there mobile number is there but i want to update only one field not all the fields then uh, in that case i will go for a patch instead of changing all the things go and change only one 
so that time we will use a patch only interview sake only we will not use this one okay but interview they will ask what is the use of a patch method so if you want to update only particular field then we will use a patch method okay something like this so everybody okay here right now let us go for a idipotent request what is idipotent okay simple here ma i'll go to uh, here suppose uh, i will type like a here i will say trinits technologies okay so i'll search here so whenever i'm searching here what is the result i'm getting it some result i'm getting right again i will reload the same what is the result i will get it same result okay if you are sending the same request and if you get the same response for multiple times also that type of request we are calling it as a idipotent okay Id idipotent the name is little bit difficult but you can read it out however you want okay idipotent so tell me if you are sending multiple requests also same request and if it is giving the same response that is nothing but a idipotent request then what is a non idipotent suppose i will give a create account man okay i'll uh, log out here and i will go for a create account so first time i will enter my username and password i will create account will create right second time also i will use the same username and password i will create what will happen this time it will throw an error right so you are sending same request only the second time no 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 same response now tell me that is idipotent or not idipotent non idipotent now get is a idipotent post is a non idipotent we can simply say that right because whenever i am creating second time third time it is not giving the same response correct right so that is an example for the idipotent okay so this is the only theory part we have completed the theory part let us go with the practical one okay so now first before developing anything first we have to learn like uh, first, if you, i want to write a table that is okay now what is our target today i want to develop this page ma. okay you know how to add image tag right you know how to add this form also right today we will try to develop this one okay or uh, for basic example we'll go for this one and later we'll go we'll do that that as a homework okay so first here i want to do this form okay so first day in the first class what we have done we have written only all paragraphs right today we'll remove all the paragraphs so we'll write the real content okay so now when I, before writing this one we will understand about the tags and we will write the code okay so inside the form whenever you want to go for form first we have to go for a tag called form tag okay so whenever i'm going to write a form uh, what is the tag we will use it a uh, form tag okay okay and inside the form tag you know what is the attributes right uh, attribute is nothing but a additional information about the tag so some attributes are there we will see what are the attributes okay i'll go for next that that is okay next thing man so inside the form uh, what are the things we can go for is a so there is a input elements okay so whenever i want to show any input box or something like this so this is a one input box then we can use a tag called input tag okay and the label man suppose here i am showing one uh, name right whenever you want to show some name then we can use a tag called a label tag okay and there is a select tag what is the select tag means whenever you want to show some drop down okay uh, suppose like uh, yes or no something like this i want to say something so this is a drop down here some we are showing some list right so whenever you are showing some list that is nothing but a drop down that is a, what option we can use it a select option okay and text area and text area is nothing but let us go for contact suppose here i want to enter a large message ma. whenever you are sending any email to your client you want to send multiple lines of message so in that time we can go for a, a a tag called a text area so this button already we have done this one right okay so let us jump the code first we'll write it simple forms then we'll come back here okay okay so let us target first we'll target the our login page so where is our login page this one okay i'll uh, i'll try to focus only inside the fields i'll try to arrange in the center everything i will do it later or last last okay not today tomorrow i will try to do it but let us focus on only the fields okay so i'll go to here we have created our login page right get us let us go to login page okay so what i will do i'll remove my login page and i'm going to write it again okay so do you know how to create a login page simply click here uh, login dot okay login dot html okay that's fine okay now uh, we first we will write the form tag what is the tag we should write it uh, 
so suppose i want to make it in the center right that is the reason i will write one div tag div is nothing but a container tag okay so let us write it a container later i will i will add the header and footer later i will add it for only demo sake i am writing okay head div ah okay so this is nothing but a simple so i will so inside the div what is the heading i am there some heading right so i can write a h1 to h6 any tag i can use for heading purpose what is the tag h1 okay i will say uh, payroll management okay okay that is done and now i want to write my form okay so inside the form uh, i can go to write another div uh, okay okay let us write the uh, so i so inside the form what is the first one i am having it uh, login so i will go for h3 so what is the h3 this is also header level tag only so uh, reveal in the explorer okay login page something like this okay now we got the payroll management and the login is there okay now uh, next what is what, what do you want to do we want to add access to dashboard something this is not heading level tag this is a normal level tag okay suppose what i will do i'll just use uh, some paragraph tag because i want to use a display in a next line so that is fine that is fine and let us reload the page okay let us reload the page okay access to dashboard is there. that is okay so next what is the thing we want to do it uh, i want to write the username and password okay so first tag what is the tag i should use it for forms uh, form tag okay let us use the form tag okay so inside the form tag and we will write the first what you want to do e email address okay so either we can directly write the email address like this no problem okay and i will type the email address and uh, okay and uh, what is the tag i should use it uh, input and i will say something like this okay so let us reload the page again we'll go for one by one okay leave it okay so email and address came right uh, now i want the what is the next one i want to write a password and uh, this one so let us try to do it ma uh, now tell me how to do it uh, password uh, password and the tag is a input tag okay so something like let us go and reload the page again uh, let us reload so username and password okay both are coming in same line right uh, but how i want i want to uh, come in the different different lines right uh, so what is the tag if you want to uh, come this one the next line what is the tag we can use it uh, break br tag okay the tag name is called uh, br br means a break break the line you lie you break that line and display the other content in the second page something like this okay now coming the second line right uh, that is okay now i want to add a uh, this three che check boxes and this button do you know how to do this one we know that right uh, so let us go for uh, here i want to display two things in one page right uh, so that's the reason i will write a uh, one div here and what is the left side i want to write it uh, remember me so we'll write it later man, that okay for now i'll just say remember that box i'll write it later okay remember me and uh, the next thing what i want to do forget password some anchor tag okay anchor tag and i will say forget forget password okay so let us reload the page so now we got these two things and finally i want a login button okay so let us go for login but do you know how to write a button here uh, tell me how to write a button here button button tag and the button name is a login that's all okay something like this okay but here whenever you want to display in the next line what is the tag i am using it my br don't use this br this is not a recommended approach okay so why instead of this one what we can do a simple whenever you want to display an SMA next line what we can do we can use a div div is a what element uh, block level element uh, block level element always what will happen they will display in a separate line automatically they will display in a separate line okay now we will reload the page still same output right uh, again i want to do it for same and uh, tell me how to do it ma ah uh, tell me first Div, okay, something like this. I, what happened? Okay, div. Ah, so I'll just copy this one. And where is my password? Okay, 
right click format the document and reload the page so now now also same right so for formatting things we can go and use the divs like automatically they will come in a separate separate line that is okay sometime here we are writing directly right instead of writing directly we can use a tag called label okay so i will i will tell you how to use the label also now this is done ma okay now what i will do i will try to enter the data and will submit the data okay i'll try to admin and see the admin see my password also visible if you observe the password the password should be hidden right it is it is not hidden it is showing to everybody okay so the reason is by default the text the input type is a text type okay so now we need to know about some attribute called type okay type here so i will say type is equal to text okay so that means whatever i am typing it you can display it as like a text and second one what is the type i should have it ma i should have it like a type is equal to password okay type is equal to password and let us try to reload it now now i'll type admin see this time it is a secured one automatically it is secure one okay now this is okay now what is the next thing i want to do it i want suppose you want some space this one you can give a margin top automatically that will work out okay so and you can go here and write like a style is equal to uh, margin top 10 pixels something like this okay margin top means uh, go and give some space in top something like okay that is okay so now uh, let us focus on the admin and type so whenever i'm clicking login please observe the page here so after this login page question mark is coming and uh, so i'm typing admin admin again i'm clicking it is there any data it is sending here ma no okay whenever we are typing any data why we are typing all this data we want to send this data to the backend server correct right then but the data is not going here okay to solve this problem to solve this problem first thing what we have to do we have to write there is an important attribute called name okay what is the attribute name 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 okay the attribute name itself a name okay here I should write the what is my field name. What is my field name? Tell me what is it like this is a, this is taking about the username right? I will say like you can enter any data here, no problem. Okay, I will say username. And suppose what is the data I am entering here? Password. I will say name is equal to either you can write a password, password one, any name you can write it. Okay, but where we will see this one, I will show you. Now I have entering name right? This time I will enter the admin and admin please watch the here okay and i'll click on login so this time see what is happening it here whatever the data i am entering here my page trying to send data to the server correct right so whatever the data you are entering here we are sending the data to the server or not yes we are sending the data to the server okay if the data is coming here automatically we are sending the data to the server that is okay now uh, and if this is a secure one not not secure one not secure one i want to change it to the post not to the get so by default our form is a get get method okay now i want to change that method right so go to your form tag okay here there is a attribute called method what is the method name method okay here which one i should use it a uh, post okay now i'll go and reload my page again okay i'll remove this one and i'll reload it okay this is the page again i will try to enter the data again i will try to enter the data this time i'll click on login is there any data it is going ma but you can think so sir where is my data no data is going something like you can think about it right so to solve this problem you can go to inspect okay so and you can just uh, expand here there is a tab called network okay if there is no network like the here there is no network suppose you can click this one and there is a uh, here it will be there if there is not there you can click here and in this list it will be network okay click here network now again i will type the admin and the admin okay and click on login here ma. okay so there is a uh, if you see here there is a one request to the server login.html and what is the data you are sending it uh, you can see your data in the payload if you see the payload what is the field name you are entering a uh, username what is the data you are entering a uh, admin what is the value you are entering for name 
admin or your field name is a pwd something like that. so this means that whenever you are submitting here suppose i will type second time there will be another request here ma see there is a second request something like this okay uh, so like this you can send your data to the server so how your data is sending in the post uh, whenever you're typing method post uh, the data is sending in the body that is the reason i am not able to see in the url okay like this you can configure uh, which one get or a post method where you can configure that one you can configure in the form okay in the form okay and the next question is uh, where i should submit my data like there are so many servers are there right uh, to which server i should submit my data okay that information you should give inside the action okay so here you will give your backend url okay here you, you will give the backend url okay suppose if you are giving uh, like uh, uh, home.html okay please uh, watch out here now what will happen is whenever i am trying to send my data admin admin and click admin so this time my home page is coming right why the home page is coming i am trying to submit my data to the home page.html but here we will not write home page or login page something we will give the back end url okay demo sake i will show you some demo tomorrow like how this will work in the real okay so for now you can think like here we should write a back end url okay something like this now if you go to our notes and we'll come back again okay okay so the first action attribute what is the action attribute everybody understand what is the action attribute to which server we want to send the data so that information where we will mention action attribute second method what is the method we'll write it to which method you should use get or a post that is a method okay and target so do you know what is the target anybody remember what is the target suppose i want to show my response in a separate tab uh, then what i can do here i can go target is equal to underscore blank so now what will happen whenever i am submitting my form okay i'll type admin i'll type admin and login see there is a new tab is open okay so whenever you are entering any data you will see a new form so what are you using what is the attribute name for this one target target is equal to underscore blank property something like this okay and auto complete is there now okay auto complete is uh, let us see here i'll try to reload it here suppose uh, this is a my login page okay i went to the internet uh, banking like uh, some of the net center and i entered my username like a admin and my password is a admin okay i have click on login everything works fine and i i log out and i went out okay whenever a next developer like whenever a next person comes to the net center he will try to open the page whenever you are opening here suppose this page is open and you click here ma what it is happening all the data it is showing it or not all the previous entered data okay not the password at least your username is showing right suppose what if, if you are entering your uh, other id or your credit card id something like this what will happen whenever the next person is clicking here automatically they will see all your data right so that is not a secured one to stop this behavior we have a one property called auto complete okay so you can say auto complete is equal to off automatically we will not display this information okay so go to where you need to add all this information inside the form tag okay uh, go here i'll say auto complete is equal to off so that means now what will happen this history will not be remember okay see now even if i'm typing also it is not showing the previous entered things okay so whenever you want to enter some secured ways uh, please try to add this uh, property that is that is our, okay so now we have now what are the things we have learned so far tell me so first we have added the form okay and the next we have added the one input box okay that is okay okay and the next we have added the action like where we should send our data okay that is okay next we have added the method like in which way i should submit my data okay and the next whether i mean auto save should be like auto complete should be there or not like i have added okay this is okay so and when we are clicking submit automatically my data is submitting right that is okay okay so now if you see here i have developed all the things right but this button is missing correct right okay so now there are different different types are there 
Okay. Now we have to learn what are the different types are there. Suppose uh, you are entering your, uh, you want to purchase some uh, something in the Amazon. What you will do? You will add to cart, and finally, whenever you are entering to, they will ask your payment details, right? Enter your credit card details, enter your uh, like a uh, secured one CVV number, and they will show some boxes, right? All boxes will be not like this one only, right? They will show some number box, or they will show some uh, data or something like for validation. They will ask data birth, right? Okay, something like this. What we have to do? We have to write the more number of fields, not only this one. Okay, so we will go one by one. And what I will do, I will go to my registration page. OK, or I will write a registration page again. If I don't have it. Registered HTML. Suppose I have a registered HTML and I will open it here. We will in the Explorer and open it. OK, suppose here. What is happening here? Ma? Everything empty only nothing great, right? So I will remove this empty page okay? because I don't want all this empty content. OK. OK, so now I want to write a form. Now tell me what is the tag I should use it a form tag. OK, so that is OK. Form tag that is OK. And uh, next thing is first I want to take your name. OK, uh, tell me how to I can write. I will say div uh, inside the div. I will say username and I can write like a input tag. OK, type is equal to username. So everybody understand what is this type is equal to text right? So it is displayed and what is this name property? If you are not writing name property, your data will not send to the server. That is important. OK, now OK, that is one. Now I want to enter password. Now tell me what I have to do it. Uh, I will say password. So OK, uh, I will just OK and now I'll write like a another div. Uh, tell me I'll say password. Uh, type is equal to password something like this. OK, this is OK man. Now I want to enter my data birth. So do you know what you what you have to do? So this is my page. Now I want to enter my data birth. Uh, tell me how to do it. Uh, I'll say do. I'll say data birth something like this. OK and OK. Suppose uh, here we have to type like a date is equal type is equal to date. This name you can give anything. Ma. Don't confuse about this name. OK, even if you if you are not giving the server, it will not send to the server. That is OK. OK, that was so if you want to enter any data birth, then what is the type you should go for? date. Let us see what will happen. I'll go here. See whenever I'm typing date automatically it is showing a date picker. I can select any time here. OK, suppose if you go to Amazon like uh, and you will be ordering so many items right uh, first they will display only last three month items. If you want to go for more items, they will ask uh, select that date uh, and go and from that date they will show the items. Correct right uh, now if you want to show like this, uh, what is the type I should use it uh, date? Date. Okay. Suppose uh, I want to write the my uh, kid birth time. So this is only saves only date, not the time. Okay. I want to save data birth as well as a time also. Okay. So now I want to write another field. Okay. Simply I will go here and I will write like input. So there is a type called time. Okay. Type called time. So let us reload. So what what it is showing here? It is showing the time. Like a 10 or 12 o'clock, something like this. Like you can select the time also. So this is the date and this is the time. Okay. And there is another type also. Instead of writing these two like two things, there is another thing is called date time. Okay, there is another type called a date time. So automatically this will this will show date time, both both like a date time or I'll say date time local. Let us reload the page. Ah, okay. So if you want to say something like this, uh, you can uh, select the date as well as you can select the time also both in simple one control. OK, so what is the next type of this one day time if one local something like this? OK, suppose this is OK. Now I am entering this one. Suppose I want to enter my age. OK, age. So tell me how to do it. Uh, do uh, I'll say age and I'll write one input box. Ma. OK, I'll write a input box. Uh, something type is equal text. Let us reload the page here. So now here I can enter my age right at 20 or 30 something like this. Instead of 20 that I'll write ABC also. Is this correct age or not correct age? Not correct age. OK, if you are giving user, they will type wrong only. OK, that is the reason we should not allow user to enter the ABCD. So for this reason, we have a type called a number. OK, number. So now what will happen? 
whenever you are having a number, you can only type the numbers. You cannot type the A, B, C, D. Even if type also, it will not come. Okay. And here you will have icons also. Ma. You can increase or you can decrease it. Okay. Whenever I'm decreasing, how many numbers it is decreasing? Ma? Only one number. That number is nothing but a step. You know, staircase, right? Uh, how many steps will go at a time? Only one. Suppose I am a robo. I will I'll write a program. Hey, go four steps at a time. What they can do? It can go, but I cannot go. Okay. Uh, if I go, I will go to the hospital then. Then, okay. So here we have a step called step. Okay. Now I want to like a, hey, program, don't go one by one. Go with the 50-50. Something like this. Okay. So then you can go here and write a, uh, tag called step okay so how much i want to increase my 50 okay at a time so i'll save it uh, okay i'll save it here and reload it okay so now let us increase it here see automatically increase 50 50 right uh, suppose you want to increase a little bit you can go under uh, customize based on your own needs okay like this now we know how to type username and numbers, data, but something like this, right? Okay. Suppose I want to enter the large message. I want to send one email, big email, not email address. I want to send one email to hi, hi friend. I got a job in React. Something like this. You want to write your happiness. So then what you will do? If you are writing type is equal to text box, uh, what, how many characters you can enter? Almost 100. After that, what will happen? Whatever you are entering, it will be there, but we cannot read it as it is right uh, so to solve this problem we have a tag called text area okay what is a what is our tag name ma? text area not a type ma okay not a input type is equal to this one okay there is a tag called text area okay so something we'll write all this one later something like let us reload the page okay something like message you can write it more okay by default this text area here there is one cursor is there you can uh, this is like a resizable ma you can increase the size you can decrease the size and you can type all the large messages also okay and automatically scroll bar will come this will take care by default we no need to do anything okay something like this so whenever you want to send large message what is the type you should take it a text area okay same thing that is okay suppose now what i want to do whenever you are going for an interview they are asking they are asking they like uh, your question you are a doctor or an engineer whether both we can do study at the same time or they cannot study it they cannot study it right or instead of going that one some companies whenever you are joining it they will ask like a male or female or uh, like not mentioned something third options how many options uh, we can select at a time uh, only one not uh, more three right uh, okay suppose i want to display such option okay now what is the option i want to select it uh, i want to display two options only one option should select okay so that time i should go for an options called uh, radio box okay what is the option i should go for my radio box i will say gender something like a gender okay now for gender also we'll use a input tag only ma. okay so i will say this is a first box let us reload the page gender but it's showing input box right i don't want to show input box what we want to we want to write a radio box so that is the reason go here and type is equal to radio okay so so now let us see what will happen see automatically box came right after the box i want to write name what is the name i want to write it male that is okay and i want to write a second option also ma so what is the option i want to write it to second option some female okay so this is, and third one i will write like a uh, not mention i don't want to mention something like this okay uh, female something like this uh, let us reload the page so how many options i have uh, male female some not mention but now tell me what is the uh, tag we are using for this one like what is the tag uh, like input tag only same input tag only what is changing internally only type okay if type is a number number type is a data date type is a radio radio box something like this okay now i will select this one more so now tell me how many options i can select it at a time one or two one i will select one okay suppose i will select here what do you think whether it's select or not select not select okay uh, uh, what will happen it is selecting right so, but uh, we should not write a program like this. If you are writing program like this, uh, our manager definitely will come to our desk, okay, to give some sweets. Uh, if you are writing like this, okay, to solve this problem, uh, first we'll will will understand, okay. So, whenever you are writing this radio box, uh, we need to mention one important attribute called name, okay. What is the important attribute, ma? Name. 
because this all three options related to one option only right so that is the reason i will go here i will say gender something you can give any name here i am giving a gender and now copy the same name in other other uh, options also okay so this will work like a grouping my in this group only one option can be selected okay something like this uh, let us reload the page again so now i'll select mail i will go for mail see only one option is selecting now this is a good programming language this is okay right something like this. now what is a uh, just what i mentioned uh, name attribute only so whenever you are writing any radio box something is missing what is the attribute you should remember name that's all automatically remaining everything will work okay but in some cases what they will do i will click on this label even though if i am clicking label it should select i will click this label automatically this should select that is a good programming as part of the ua developer we should write our program like that not only exactly on this box okay i can click on my label also okay now currently it is selecting or not selecting not selecting okay to solve this problem we will go and write a one label tag directly we are writing right instead of writing directly i will use a label tag okay label okay so in uh, whatever the content i am writing outside i will cut it and i will add it inside the label okay first step okay and here and i can write like a this label belongs to which one ma here this one right here i will say id is equal to id is equal to i can give any name what is this first option regards a mail option okay i'll say m that is okay so here i will say m or i'll say m f n m m control i'll say m input something any name okay so here what is the name i should give it here whatever the name i am giving here same name i should give inside the for okay so answer uh, let us try for the same other two things also ma uh, i will say uh, id is equal to uh, here what i can give female fm okay and uh, now what tell me what i have to do here label uh, label tag what is the input i should give it fm hyphen input okay what is the option value i can give it? female something like this okay so let us try for this too if it works i will add it to later okay i uh, see working or not uh, something like this okay very nice right uh, something like this we can develop it okay so what is the option we are using here what is the option simple one id attribute some people will confuse me again i am telling it so to which input you are you want to add a uh, this behavior you need to add this id in the input tag not in the label tag some people what they will do after some time they will do reverse ma they will write a for here and they will write id here in the reverse that will not work out okay so in the label tag what is the attribute we should write it a for in the input tag what is the attribute we should write it a id something like this okay so like this now this is okay how many options i can select it now only one option out of three options i can select only one option that is okay suppose uh, like they are asking like what is your hobbies how many hobbies will be there only programming no other <laughs> hobbies right no we'll have multiple right so whenever we have a multiple then we should not go for this one okay whenever we have multiple options we should go for a other one not for this one okay for this reason we have to go for a another type ma okay there is another type called div and i will say hobbies okay so something like this ah, okay so now i should write a type is equal to checkbox what is the type i should use it a type is equal to checkbox and this name i will say name is equal to hobbies and id you know why i am using id whenever i am clicking label i want to select it same thing that is the reason i am using a id here see label label for is equal to something like this so what is the thing here reading okay i want to write a another hobby so let us go for hobbies and let us go for writing something like this okay okay so in your system you type it for me the control is because i am doing something else that is the reason automatically popping don't think expecting whenever you are putting also it will it will not come for you okay there is some magic is happening in my system that is the reason it will come you also whenever you are typing and seeing it will not come you need to type it okay once you learn everything i will tell you how to do this one okay yes okay let us go and reload it here so now how many options hobbies i am having it reading and writing so both i can select it or both i can unselect it also correct right so whenever you want to select multiple option now tell me which which way you will go for radio box or check box check box whenever i want to select only one option then radio box okay 
now there is a one more thing i want to mention my address okay inside the address they are asking for the state state okay country is there state is there how many state i can select for my address only one state right that is okay so now tell me i should go for check box or radio button radio button correct right if i am writing radio buttons how many radio boxes i should write for my my states how many radio boxes sir 30 radio boxes right 30 radio box means okay forget about the counter no we no need to remember the count but at least some ha uh, uh, states states in india how many states are there Continue. okay before die for question okay we will not go there okay uh, something like around 29 or 30 that is okay now how how much how much place it will take if i am writing 29 it will occupy entire space right so user will be confusing why this mini box or something okay that is not a good design okay now whenever you want to go for more than three options but you want to select only one option don't go for radio box okay we should go for a drop down we should go for a drop down okay you understood right when you should go for radio suppose i am having a yes or no uh, then what you can do go for radio why you want to go for a drop down because only you are having only two options but whenever you have more than three options now tell me which option you should go for radio like uh, select okay select button. let us go for an example and we will understand it okay now i want to write my address uh, okay i will say address I'll, okay don't write the tag uh, okay so here i want to write a select a tag something like this ah. okay so first whenever i want to write multiple things now first thing what i have to do i have to write a tag called select tag okay these two tags are not important okay don't uh, remember like these are required simply you can write a select tag okay inside the select tag i want the option right so that is the reason inside this one we have to use an option called the option okay option tag so option uh, this value we can write it or no need to write it let us we will discuss it okay let us reload the page so now see uh, something like this so now you can display thousand options also you can show there it will occupy only one line so whenever you want so let us see here okay so let i will remove here and i'll write option tag again okay option this value i'll need to later sometimes i will say india okay but what is the shortcut for india do you know what is the two digit letter for india in okay so something like this whenever you want to send some short code then we will write inside the value suppose i don't want to use the short code i want to send entire data don't write any value simply write like a option is equal to india and uh, something option is equal to usa some option is equal to uk something like this okay something like this you can write it on your own okay something now tell me when we should go for uh, select and radio button ma whenever more options are there then select uh, what are the tags we should use it uh, select a tag and inside the select a tag what is the tag uh, option tag uh, inside the option you can write it here okay and when i should go for value here whenever i want to send some different value than the other than the this is same value then i can go for a value here okay value is equal to in uh, here i will say value is equal to us okay us and here already that is also two letter only my, my letter also will be like a two letter only like you should write a united kingdom but uh, like this you can do it this is optional one okay no need to remember all these things okay whenever you are doing project automatically this will come but only the thing is i am just telling that there are this many possibilities are there okay and whenever the requirement comes you will start using it okay this is just a training that's all okay now this is okay something like this okay suppose what will happen is uh, there are thousand states are there okay thousand states are there what you will do you need to scroll right uh, scroll 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 go to bottom and check it right uh, instead of checking like this if there is a searching like i will search it automatically it will come or i can select it i can both ways i can do it okay whenever you want to do like this so that is nothing but a searchable drop down what is a searchable drop down why we want to write a searchable drop down when like don't write searchable drop down for three or four options whenever you are having at least 100 okay or 30 50 more than that then only go for a searchable if you are having two or three five don't we no need to use that approach okay so let us go for here okay so there is a tag called data list ma okay there is a tag called 
data list. OK, so here we are going to use this one. Uh, let us start writing it. So what I want to do, I want to write a searchable drop down. Let us write a div. OK, I will say search countries. Something like this. OK, so first thing is I will write a input type is equal to search. OK, what is early? We did not see this search writer. Let us see what is this search here. First and we'll understand better. OK, I'll go here. See, I'll type something. So this is like input box only. Then what is the special? The special is only this cross mark only. OK, if you click here, automatically clear. But if you type in the normal one, there is no cross mark. Either I have to do it manually one by one, one by one. But in the search box, automatically this close button is coming right. If you're clicking here, automatically will clear. OK, sir, so where you will use this type of behavior? Something like this. I will show you some simple demo. Uh, let us go for here. Suppose here the text is there. I will type something. OK, I want to filter my data. Suppose yes is there. I want to search with yes. Now tell me I want to clear this one. If it is the input, I cannot clear it. If it is a search box, I can simply clear it automatically. Filter will go away. So now tell me in, in this type of scenario, which one I should use it? Search or normally type is equal to text search box. You can use both. No problem, but search will make more sense. Correct, right? So that is the reason. OK, now I am using a search. That's all. It will not do more than that. That's all. It will not search also. It is only it will have a close mark. That's all. There is no difference at all. But now what I want to do, I want to write options, right? That is the reason I have to go for a tag called. This is the last tag I will discuss today. Then I'll stop it. OK, uh, I'll not overload you guys. OK, so then there is a tag called data list tag. OK. Data list tag. OK, so something like this. So when I will go for a data list, tell me first scenario whenever I want to write a searchable drop down, then I will go for a data list. So data list is done. OK, and inside this I will write an option. Do you know what is an option in the drop down? You will get an option, right? That is nothing but option. Option value is equal to India value is equal to something like this. OK, let me write it myself. OK, I don't want to use this one. I will say India. I will say India. OK, and enter. USA something. OK, so how many options I'm having it? Uh, three options. You can have a multiple option also. OK, option uh, tag. I will not use this value. I'll let OK, I'll say Japan. And uh, China something. OK, five options are there. OK, now for this one, what we have to do first, we have to give a ID here. Okay, where we need to give ID here in the data list. ID is equal to I will say country. You can give any name, no problem at all. I can give A, B, anything, but I will give some meaningful name. Okay, countries. So where I am giving countries here, ma, in the data list. Okay. Now I want to search this list right. Go to this search tag here and type like a list is equal to. So what is my ID name here? Countries. Okay. Just add it here. That's all. Okay. No other things. So let us reload our page here. Uh, let us go to reload. Uh, okay, where is our uh, this one registration page? Okay, this one. Okay. So let us go here. So by default, see, uh, it it is showing uh, India, USA, UK, Japan, something. It is showing all five names, right? I don't know. Like there is a hundred names, thing like this. I want to search it. Now I'll type like a hey, IN. So where is IN is there? In China is there? Okay. I'll type capital IN. It is there, okay. And suppose I'll say Japan, J, something. And you don't want to do anything, just click here, all list will come. Okay. So this is just for predefined things. But in React, we can do our own drop down. We will not use this data list also. We will prepare our own and we'll write a ignore case also. Everything we will do it, okay. For now, whenever you want to do something like this, well, what is the tag you can use it, ma? Something like this, okay. So like this, there are like uh, only two more types. I have missed it, but I'll see. So here, uh, so we have covered the button, right? So you can convert the same input box also like a button. So they can simply we can write a type is equal to button. Automatically it will display like a button. That is okay. Check box we have seen it, right? Suppose color. I will use the color and let me go to paste it here. Let us reload the page. Okay. Suppose here. I can select any color. Suppose some websites, what they will do, you can pick your color. Automatically, that website will show in a color. But in that case, what is the tag you can use it? You can use like type is equal to color, something like this. Okay. We will not use this, all these things in our mail. Suppose I want to type my email. Okay. Uh, there is a type called email. So, what is the correct email? You know, 
you have to write a at the rate symbol and a dot symbol is there then only it is a correct email okay for email validation you can go and use a type is equal to email okay i'll stop here and i will not uh, and if there are some missing tags are there we'll discuss it uh, tomorrow okay so this is for the uh, theory concept okay now uh, let's come to the project so now uh, what we have to do so far in the first page and second page what we have done we have written only paragraphs right now today what uh, what you guys have to do you develop this login page okay so here i should write a email so what is the type you should be tell me what is the type type is equal to email and what is the password type here type is equal to password now you know what is this one right checkbox now if you want to write a checkbox you can do it and the right side is a anchor anchor okay, anchor tag okay and this is a button correct right so button you can do it and you can write a anchor tag link here and same in the registration page also you try to complete this page homework okay and again you will go here and there is another page forget password so here also we are having this one right try to complete these three pages and display it okay and apart from this let us give some homework also because you guys are doing completing in uh, some 30 minutes okay now i will go for contact us some uh, try to uh, do this one also okay this page so you can get this url i'll give this url in the uh, group ma so that you can just uh, get it from the demo page so this demo page just add this uh, uh, contact page and uh, this login forget all these things okay tomorrow don't forget about like a uh, you for you it is coming in the next line and some pages it is coming in the same line okay it will come automatically tomorrow we'll work on the formatting tomorrow first we'll work on the this one in styles will work on tomorrow okay so try to develop four pages and apart from this you go and develop this page also okay you know what is the list and order list and order list right and formatting tags also you know that uh, you know how to add a color also you know how to add an image also okay whoever completed this classes uh, and try to uh, do th this intraday strategy is the right uh, complete this 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 page also so that you will just practice more things so i will give this link also here okay so this is the homework for tomorrow and we'll see we'll uh, verify our homework in the next class okay i'll stop the recording